Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to start a little something different. As you can see, I am here in Giants Editor, and I am on a map. Um, decided to give a go at mapping again. Uh, see if maybe I can actually finish a project for once. Um, I am somewhat basing this off of a real area as you can see let's just deselect that turn the visibility on of this as you can see I do have a Google Earth image up that I am doing my best to follow obviously it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect but as you can see I got four fields in already and uh, working on placing one of my roads so that way I can uh, work on adding some more. Uh, this is a 4x map and uh, I'll show you guys here the area which I'm going off of. So you can see here I've got an area outlined um, funny thing about this area, let's see here now if I can find my spot that I need to be at. Let's see here, so here's the highway. Um, hey, give me a second here to figure out where I'm at. Place my map. Wait, wait. Maybe. <laughs> um, trying to figure out here just where I'm at. Uh, and once I figure out exactly where I'm at, then I can explain a little better of what it is that I am going after here. Ooh, too far. Yeah, I think it is this field. This one, maybe? No, because then that's pasture land. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. I got to figure out, okay, so there's the cemetery. Okay, so I was in the right spot before. Uh, and it's not even included in my square. Damn, I should have thought of that. Well, anyhow, um, so this is based around a place uh, called Lake Chida. And fun fact, this field here, this field, um, then let's see, these two fields, and I believe this field here are all fields that, yes, it is this field because here's that yard, and then the string of power lines, yep. So, funny thing, or fun fact about this area, and now I'm realizing that I should have done this a little bit further over. A little too late now, but is what it is. Um, these fields here are actually fields that my boss uh, rents. Yeah, he rents this land. Uh, this field here actually was a uh, field that I planted in winter wheat here this last fall. So I'm kind of in the area. I'm not exactly over our fields, but uh, so this is the area here that we're going off of. As you can see, there are a lot 
of fields, different sizes, different shapes. Um, I mean, you got some odd shaped fields in here. And uh, so this is where I'm going to start this map off of, is right here in this area. Uh, right here is uh, Lake Chida. Um, and as a kid, I actually went to this summer camp right here. So it's kind of funny to be farming just down the road from it. Now, probably 10 years later. Um, let's see here now if I can get us looking down again. So yeah, um, it's actually not that far from our farm. Uh, I'm going to start off with this map going to kind of run through this one, see kind of how it turns out. Um, I am kind of biting off a lot, starting off with a 4x map, but I've always liked a good challenge, so that's what we're going to go with. And uh, Okay. But, uh, yeah, so this is kind of what we're doing um so i'll probably be calling it uh just lake chida north dakota or something like that and uh yeah so like i said it is a 4x map um what i'd like to do is complete this map and then eventually i want to do a map with our main farm on it. Oops, I'm still on grass. Um, eventually, at some point down the road, that one would be a lot bigger. Um, probably more like a 16x or something. Uh, we'll see, because I want to get a lot of the area in that map. But we'll see. Um, like I said, I'm loosely basing it off of that area in that square. Um, for the most part, the field layouts will be, you know, pretty close to the real thing. Uh, obviously, there's going to be changes. You know, there is no town in that area. Um, the town is actually further south. Uh, southeast of this area um, okay perfect it's quite a ways southeast actually uh, I want to say about maybe a good 15 miles or so so yeah it's it's a little bit of a drive from where this area is but um, I will be, you know, trying to get a lot of it fairly accurate. I did do a DEM real terrain for this um, from the area. And so I will be incorporating that into the map uh, after I have finished all of the roadways and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of how I've always done my maps. I always leave them flat, paint my fields, paint my roads. And if I'm going to use like regular highways or something like that, you know, regular road pieces, then uh, I normally will do like a, I'll paint a texture outline and then I'll go back after I've added the terrain in and uh, I'll put those roads down then so it is in the very very early stages obviously um, I just decided to start on this two days ago maybe and I think I've only spent like I don't know 
maybe two hours on the actual map itself. Um, it did take quite a bit of time to, I had to re-figure out how to do the DEM real terrain because I have not done it in so long. So, um, I had to kind of refresh myself on how to do that. And thankfully, uh, Large H Mapping had done a tutorial on it for FS22. So I was able to uh, just kind of follow through his video. Um, and I'll link that video down below. For anybody else that's interested in doing uh, DEM real terrain, you can go check his video out and uh, it'll kind of help you out with what you're needing. <clears throat> it definitely uh, kind of helped me out quite a bit. so. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of working on going through, putting down fields, roads, grass, um, stuff like that. Just the kind of basic beginning of the map stuff. Um, the map's going to have mostly grain farms. There will be a couple of cattle farms. Uh, I plan on incorporating alfalfa and clover into it and uh, once Edgewater Sus uh, once Edgewater Saskatchewan gets re released uh, the new version anyways I should say um, I do at you know obviously this is going to be down the road a ways but I want to incorporate uh, plaques into the map um, I will be putting corn stalk bales in the map as well, and then I also want to, um, incorporate, uh, South Sask Modding's, um, swathable canola and flax into the map as well. Um, flax isn't really as common anymore around here uh, especially around this area it's really not um, canola really hasn't been all that common much anymore either but they are still a couple of crops that are grown in the state um, I know my grandfather actually used to grow um, canola He's told me that before, so. <clears throat> oh, okay. Probably helps to uh, put down a actual texture as well but um yeah and so I want to put alfalfa and clover and stuff into this map all of that fun stuff um, and set it up so that you can use alfalfa to feed your cows um, kind of similar to the way UMRV is set up. Um, stuff like that. A lot of detail. A lot of things like that. Um, so. Like I said, I do, you know, want to try and finish it. Um, I'm sure the question is going to get asked, so I might as well answer it now. Is it going to get released? Um, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm not necessarily saying no. 
but I'm not saying yes either. Um, it it might, it might not. We'll see. It's just gonna kind of depend on how it turns out and how I feel on releasing it. If it does get released, it's not gonna be a console map. I'm not even gonna bother. So if you're wanting to play on it on consoles, well, you're, I'm sorry to say it, but you're gonna be shit out of luck on that one. Um, I'm not gonna bother dealing with giants and the mod hub, all that stuff. If I do release it, I'll just upload it to um, like mod hub or something, or maybe I'll make a um, itch.io page for it, something like that. But it will not come to consoles because I will not deal with giants uh, and their BS. So, um, just kind of my personal thing. I'm sure that's probably going to tick some people off, but so be it. Um, that's just how it's going to be. But like I said, it I'm not even going to guarantee that it will get released to begin with. So, oops. Now, I know that's another thing that kind of grinds a lot of people's gears. You know, well, if you're not going to put it out to the public, then why even share anything about it? Well, because I can and because I choose to. And I want to. Um, not everything is going to get released that people show off. Me personally, it's just me showing my work. And, you know, I've had, a, I've, it's pissed people off before in the past with me working on projects and videoing it, live streaming it, stuff like that. But, like I said, it's, it's content for you guys, and throughout the video process of it, over the course of me working on it, it might uh, teach you guys some things, I guess. I know it's going to be a big learning process for me because it's been so long since I've worked on a map. And I know things are a little bit different for 22, so. Um, I know uh, South Sask, South Sask, wow. I don't know why I struggle to say that so many times. But uh, he was in one of my live streams and I was talking about doing some mapping. And he said that a lot of it is the same, which I have noticed. Um, he did also say there's a lot change to make detailing uh, a lot nicer. And I definitely have uh, seen some of those things. One of them, one of the coolest things it, to me anyways, is the fact that you can limit where you paint to um, I really like that so what I mean by that is if you guys have kind of noticed um, I'm dragging the brush over top of the gravel road and it's not painting um, so I can limit this to grass only so it won't paint on any other texture or for when I'm doing my roads I could go in and I could have grass painted where I'm gonna put my road and I can go back and delete it from just the road and that's it so it's kind of a nice little thing 
to uh, have. I really like that added uh, deal to it. I think it's kind of neat having that. It's definitely a very helpful thing to have, uh, you know, especially with the fact of, you know, I'm putting grass down everywhere, but I'm going to have to go back and delete it for, like, my town, stuff like that. I can just go in, I can place down whatever items I want to do, and then I can go back and paint in the ground texture that I want and then I can delete the grass only in that area just to kind of speed up the process or make it a little simpler things like that so I think that's kind of neat um, starting on this map is kind of my first experience with the Giants editor for FS22 um, I have not played with it at all prior to starting this map, aside from opening maps a couple times just to kind of look at them. Um, that's kind of one thing that I always do when I download a new map. I'll open it in Giants Editor to kind of do like an overview, kind of look at it, figure out where everything's at. Because um, it's a little bit faster than trying to do it in-game, at least to me. So, I find myself always doing that. Farmland area. Hmm. So, yeah. Um, that's just kind of me personally, I guess. Alright, so let's set that back to there. Go back up. Square. And then we'll bring this guy back up. So we just got that, so we got a little space and then a field. I might make these two all one. Uh, we'll see here. So. Okay, so this is the edge of it. Gonna run up there. It's gonna run to about there. And then it'll come kind of at a slight angle. Okay, let's take that off. Hey, I actually got that lined up pretty well surprised okay so then we'll go back square we're gonna set this to 15 bring it down a little bit because it's too big and I can't really keep track of it it kind of it kind of gets hard to see so so what we're gonna do is paint this entire area and we'll stop right about there And I'm going to go back in and I'm going to do a split down it because I will make it two separate fields. There are going to be a lot of large fields on this map, um, but there will be some kind of smaller ones as well. And so it'll be kind of a variation of field sizes. Um, I'm also going to set up the farms to be a variety of sizes um, so you'll have kinda your smaller you know good for like a classic you know style farm I guess um, you know running smaller equipment older machines stuff like that uh, so it'll have 
smaller buildings, kind of that more rustic feel to it, smaller bins, stuff like that. And then um, there will be your large farms for running big fields, big operations, that kind of thing as well. That'll be a good variety. Even in the cow farms, there'll be kind of a variety. There'll be your farms set up more for kind of running Angus cattle, running your beef set up, I should say. Um, and then there'll be some too for dairy and there'll be a variety of sizes of those. Uh, I plan to set up each farm to be viable individually um, and to where you can buy just the farm um, you know you're not buying fields with it you're only buying the yard um, that's how I'm gonna have mine set up uh, I know some maps they have it set up where you buy the yard and it comes with a field or you know you buy the yard and you get just your yard and personally I like it better where you buy just a yard especially when it comes to like upgrading yards um, I personally just kinda like it better as that so we're gonna go ahead and oops my hand is not deciding to play nice and be steady here. Okay. We're going to go in and we're going to take off these squared edges. That's another thing. None of these fields are going to have square edges. Um, none of them are going to be completely square either. Um, I mean, there's going to be all kinds of different shapes to them, and then all the fields are going to have rounded off corners, because around here, there is no such thing as a square field, and there's no square corners to them, nothing like that either, just not how our farmland is around here. So this is a, I guess I don't, I might have mentioned it at the beginning. Um, this is based in North Dakota. So based in my home state. What am I doing here? I need to change it. Okay, so now we're going to go down to, let's do 8. Even that's kind of big yet. Let's go to 5. Try that. That might be better. Okay, and let's bring up our visibility here. Okay, so it's going to split right about in there. That's where we're going to put it. So I'll be doing videos on this map from time to time. I'm not going to do them like every day or anything like that. It's going to be kind of from time to time as I get further along um, and whatnot. Because it will take a lot of work, a lot of time to even just do the fields and the roads. Because there's so many fields and there's going to be a lot of r different roads and things like that and um, 
section lines, you know, just stuff like that, getting into these fields and whatnot. Um, and I will be doing a lot of different texture changing, uh, both crops and ground and foliage, all that kind of stuff. So there will be a lot of changes. But um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and we're going to finish these ones off. We're going to take off these corners here and get them rounded off. And then we're going to get our road brought up. Oh, well, we're already at a half hour. Okay, we're going to round these off yet, and then... Um, well, yeah, we're going to round these off yet, and then we'll probably call it a video. And uh, I might actually do a live stream on this. For a little bit until uh, I gotta take off. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. Well, I gotta do a little bit in that field yet because there is, if we look, there is a grass area in it. So I will. Uh, put that on there but but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh hope you guys look forward to it like i said i i am debating on a release of it when it's done but i have a long time until i gotta decide on that so that'll get decided later on but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video of it, and hope you guys look forward to future videos of it uh, in the works. So, all right, well, thank you guys for watching, and if you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. Subscribe if you have not done so already, and stay up to date on all videos. Thank you guys for watching, we'll catch you all later.